Here's a comedy centric moment. Speaking of name dropping, you, there you go. have quite the career. I mean, thank you. I didn't, it wasn't. Oh, shut up, sweater woman. Right. I'm talking to Jeanette. <laughs> Well, well, yeah, so you, out. yeah, yeah, six Emmys. I have six. I Emmys know, and five for Roseanne, right? But I'm telling you, all roads. Roseanne. Roads. Really? Rosie, so Roseanne. how did you meet? How did you guys get together? Oh, Ros yeah. Roseanne Barr, right? Ros no, no, Rosie no, O'Donnell. Oh, Rosie O'Donnell. Jesus sorry, Christ, get it right now. She shut up, really sweater getting... woman. All right. <laughs> can I? But, can we take? Go ahead. I mentioned that right away because I, I will uh, I'd be grateful to her forever because she gave me a career and everything I got uh, with her and anything I got without her, I got it because of the history I had with her. You know, I had a cooking show. I had uh, I got a radio show after I did the radio show with her. But I, I consider everything all roads still lead to Rosie because it would never have happened. Uh, had she not given me that job. And I don't think anybody else was going to give me that job. So, uh, uh, but I met her. It was the first Thursday of March in 1987. And I was wearing a striped uh, Banana Republic uh, <laughs> skirt. I always remember what I was wearing. And uh, this peach top that was uh, ill-advised. And I used to think that um, shoulder pads would make me look thinner. So I wore incredibly large shoulder pads that often fell forward. So... <laughs> It was a it was it was a good look, uh, but bonkers in Orlando, and uh, I never used to keep up. I still don't really keep up, and so I knew she was some uh, comic from Long Island. Uh, I didn't really know a lot, so I wasn't at all intimidated. Uh, she'd done a couple of movies, uh, but it was just oh, I get to work with women because you remember back in the eighties, we did not get to work together that often, women. You and you and you and I. Well, I was well. Women well, in were, general, yeah, women was, didn't get to alive. work together. Yeah, right. mm -hmm. yeah. You were alive and yeah. uh, and a comic, and you you know that uh, they would they would book one woman on a show most of the time. So yes. uh, she and she was wearing uh, a, a teal sort of military cut uh, a jacket with epaulets, and uh, <laughs> she had the big uh, '80s hair, and we had a blast. Uh, and uh, it was one month to the day before she started uh, her job as a VJ on VH1. And, I don't even remember she did that. Oh, my God, yes. At that time, it was completely groundbreaking. Wow. So, yeah. I remember and that, yeah. I, I do remember that. I'm in the wrong direction again. No, um, you're good. You're good now. Mm -hmm. I uh, And, uh, you know, comics, we, we don't... Uh, we don't make up our acts on stage. We work on our acts. And it takes years to get that for hour, you know. Uh, but all of a sudden, she found herself in a position where she needed yet five new minutes a day. So, which, you know, it sounds great. It doesn't sound like a lot. But every night we'd get on the phone because we just really had a great time in Florida. And uh, not as a job, but you know how we do this, you know, you hang with your friends who's like, oh, do you think this will work? Oh my God, I need this to work tomorrow. So we would, uh, we would, you know, brainstorm uh, each other's material and uh, stuff. And we just stayed friends. And, uh, and she hired me a bunch of times. Uh, there was one time, uh, the Tropicana, uh, a, a book by Kephart. Bob Kephart? Yes. In AC? In yes. AC? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I was down there one time with... Uh, we, by the way, we, we mentioned, we, whenever we, we refer to him as he whose name shall not be spoken. Right. Oh. Well, he hated me. And, <laughs> he hated uh, everybody. <laughs> yeah, but I deserved it because I, I was working with David Say and um, Rich Jenny. And Wow. Yeah. Who was closing that show? Jenny? Jenny. Jenny, yeah, okay. And... Uh, David Say was opening it, and I was the island of silence in the middle. I <laughs> all week, every show. I couldn't. I couldn't make them like me. I had one decent show, only one, and there was a reviewer in the audience. Uh, and so I have a review. I don't have it anymore, but I had a review that you know said you know the you know the second coming. But it was the only <laughs> show I got a single laugh in. So I really and demoralizing. I can't even tell you, and. Uh, uh, you know, I slunk out of town. Then a few years later, when I'm with Rosie, she said she's uh, working down there. And uh, do I want to come and and uh, and middle? And I said, oh, yeah, no. 
<laughs> you know what? That you could have walked in there with the Pope, and it still would have been a lousy show because that place was a lousy room. It was a really hard room, uh, but believe me. David Say and Rich Jenny were not sucking the way I was, but I did. So I said, no, no way. He's not going to book me again. I really went down the toilet. She said, hold on. Um, she calls Kephart and says, uh, uh, you know, I want Jeanette to uh, middle. And he said, we're not booking her. She said, I won't come. So I was booked. Oh my gosh, that's <laughs> great. I love yeah. that's a That's that's a great story. Well, that's the first nice line is, I still sucked. <laughs> I don't have to do that room. I, I There's some it. rooms you can't do. Some rooms you just can't land. Well, was it the old, the old room or the new one? The old it was, one it was or the, the old one. It was back downstairs. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The old room, Kath, was a, it was a horrible. It was set up horribly. The green room was behind the stage. You actually came. From, yeah. You know. Yeah. The, you remember that? It was. I do vaguely. Weird. It felt but like I a stripper. To suppress that memory. I really worked, <laughs> worked at that. Lots, lots of vodka to do that. Yeah. Thank you.